that I have already done my November TBR. That was my Scrabble and Second Cousin TBR game. But today I found out, well it wasn't today, but today I've seen the announcement videos and I'd already got a hint that it was going on through Twitter. Uh, the Gilmore Girls Readathon is happening again and I have to take part in that purely because it's I took part last year and that was the first readathon that got me obsessed with readathons in general. So I feel like I've come full circle to start having a go again. Um, so there are seven prompts. Um, this readathon was started by Desi, but there's also Mackenzie Lane, Liv and Heather. So I'll link their channels below. They're all the hosts for this readathon. Like I said, there's seven prompts. They've said you can double up, so that's great because I'll need to because I'm already trying 13 books for... Actually, I think I'm doing 14 books that month for uh, believe a So I will go through the seven prompts. I am definitely doubling up. I've got three books on my list that I'm going to try and fit with all these prompts. So for the two prompts of read a book set in a small town and read a book set during fall and winter, I have gone for The Burr and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Um, Meg from Meg with Books is doing a read along of this trilogy and I've never read them before so I thought it was perfect to fit this in because I'm, otherwise I'm reading middle grade and this wouldn't fit. Uh, so it's set in a small village in Russia and I thought small village, small town, we'll go with that um, and it's set during winter so that is the book I'm going with for that. Uh, for the three prompts of a book with complicated love interests, a book with age and representation and a book, a, a next book in a series that you've not finished yet. I am going for P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Jenny Han? I think that's it. Uh, I've just recently finished To All the Boys I Loved Before. Now I give it three stars. For me, three stars is it's not amazing. It's not really terrible. It's just okay. But for that reason, because it wasn't really, really bad, I have to see how it finishes. And it kind of ended in a way that there was definitely unfinished business. So I definitely want to read that. And I thought, well, this is quite perfect because quite often I'll read part of a series and then I'll wait ages to read the next one. Well, I've just not long finished this, so this will be pretty great to uh, carry on straight away. And then for the uh, read a book with a mother-daughter relationship i've picked a non-fiction because it's one i'm really interested in reading it's honey i homeschool the kids by nadia sawalia and mark adderley uh, this is a husband and wife team nadia is from loose women uh, she's got two daughters so the whole book is about her relationship with her daughters and i thought at the minute when we've been going through Oh, a really weird time where, it, you know, there were situations where people were having to homeschool the kids. I thought it might be really good to read it. Who knows? I hope we're not going to, into another lockdown and having to do more homeschooling. But if we do, I'm really interested to just see how they found it and kind of any tips or advice they had. So, yeah, not quite the fiction that I think this was intended for. But I thought this is a book I really want to get through. It's not really huge. It's how many pages? Uh -oh. like 200 and odd pages so I think I can read it really quickly Um, so again that's handy because of believe a so yeah those are my three books so I'm really excited to take part uh, there's one more prompt which is to watch your favourite Gilmore Girl episode and read like a fall type snack uh, well, it actually said bake, bake a snack, but I'm rubbish at baking. But then I thought, well, actually, if I could find like a little cupcake mix that's like Halloween based. Um, I mind you, it's November the 15th, so the 22nd, isn't it? So it won't be Halloween type then. But maybe I'll look for like a little cupcake mix. I mean, Sophie will make some cupcakes. Or I might buy some Pop-Tarts and try them because I've never tried them before. Uh, my favourite Gilmore Girl ep Girls episode is the episode where Lorelai and Luke finally kiss for the first time um, outside her like B&B. So that's the one that I'm hoping to watch while I eat my favourite snack. So I hope this was okay. I just thought I am going to take part. So I'll add these to my believe -thon reads. And yeah, I'm so glad they're doing it again this year because I enjoyed it so much last year. So let me know if you're taking part. Let me know what you're doing for the prompts. And let me know your favourite Gilmore Girl episode. And I will see you next time. Bye.